Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie here with Upworld Games, and we just got a brand new Spider-Man trailer. It was amazing. You can find that in the description below, but I'm going to break it down because there are a bunch of new details and gameplay shots in this trailer, and then some details from the developer Insomniac Games themselves. So, let's talk about this. So, yeah, you may have noticed that we might be experiencing life as Peter Parker a bit more than we thought previously. These shots here look like in-gameplay shots of roaming around as Peter Parker himself. So I am expecting that to be something you can actually do in the game. And also as we move on, we see gameplay uh, that we will actually be stopping bank robbers. Uh, that's of course Spider-Man's job, but it looks like we might also take control of get this Mary Jane as well during this sequence. They talk about working together on this one and they got to time it just right. So it sounds like that's going to be a gameplay mechanic for sure. Now a lot of you guys are huge fans of Miles Morales and yes, he has been confirmed for the game and there's some Easter eggs actually related to him in Spider-Man Homecoming. So this is going to be really interesting for sure. Now, if you aren't familiar with who Miles is, well, he took up the mantle of Spider-Man in the Ultimate Marvel Universe, which takes place outside of the main Marvel Comics universe following the death of Peter Parker. So I'm hoping that Peter Parker does not end up dying uh, in this game. That would be terrible. Uh, but Man, I am so hyped for this game. You have no idea. The open world itself looks absolutely gorgeous. And then this shot really does interest me of Spider-Man gearing up and getting ready. Now, I'm hoping this indicates that we have some sort of lair, I guess you could say, that we go back to. And we could change up our costume and check out collectible. So I'm crossing my fingers uh, that that is in the game because it was present in the previous open world Spider-Man games, as you may remember. Now, who are our villains in this game? So we've got Mr. Negative. He's going to be by far our biggest threat in the game, but you got to remember that Kingpin is also in the PS4 Spider-Man game as well. Uh, which I'm super excited about. I've always been bummed out that they kind of neglected Kingpin because he's been a huge part of the cartoons uh, when I grew up on them, and uh, I'm thrilled to see they are not neglecting him. And we also have a new villain reveal as well, the Shocker. Now, this is going to be awesome. He looks like he is going to be a heavy-hitting villain, and he's going to be quite the challenge for Spider-Man to take on. And the story will revolve around something called the Devil's Breath, as they call it. So, curious to see what happens with that one. And uh, this is by far Insomniac Games' biggest undertaking, by the way. That's the developer. And they are known for games like Resistance and Ratchet and & Clank. So, they've got quite the pedigree under their belt. And, you know, Insomniac has been asked over on Twitter for comparison between the PS4 version and the PS4 Pro version, which we've been seeing the 4K PS4 Pro version of Spider-Man from the gameplay demonstrations and the trailers, but they assure everyone that the game is going to be running amazing on both the standard PS4 and the PS4 Pro. They go on to say that if you want a comparison of what to expect from this game, look to the Ratchet and Clank series, which of course is a good idea because those games are absolutely stunning. So I am insanely excited about this one. The world looks very, very detailed, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Curious to see what happens with Miles, of course. That's going to be the interesting bit in the story, I think. Uh, but guys, stay tuned here for more Spider-Man on PS4 and more open-world gaming goodness. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.